New tonight, a CBS2 exclusive, Reverend Jeremiah Wright makes a surprise appearance in Chicago. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. I'm Diane Burns. Well, Barack Obama's former spiritual advisor to his campaign suddenly appeared in church on the south side tonight, and only CBS2 cameras were there. He's been with his family in private since some of his sermons became the center of criticism against the senator in his run for the White House. Well, the appearance by Reverend Wright tonight was a shock to the church audience that was quick to show their support. I talked to some of the people around him to find out how he is dealing with the political crisis surrounding Senator Obama. Here is my exclusive report. Reverend Wright received a thunderous welcome. The audience had no idea the man at the center of a national political firestorm the last few weeks was even coming to their church. We love you. We thank God for you. Reverend Wright was invited by St. Sabinus pastor, Father Michael Flager, to see his favorite, Dr. Maya Angelou, the main draw of the African-American speaking series. May our good Lord bless you. Reverend Wright was looking tan and smiling as the audience sang happy birthday to Dr. Angelou, who turned 82. His friends I talked to did not bring up with him the latest comment from Senator Obama on national television today. Had the Reverend not retired, uh, and had he not acknowledged that what he had said had deeply offended people and w were inappropriate and mischaracterized what I believe is uh, the greatness of this country for all its flaws, then I wouldn't have felt comfortable staying there at the church. People who know Reverend Wright believe it's clear the ordeal has taken a toll. It's not clear, though, how the pastor feels about the senator distancing himself from him, his spiritual advisor of 20 years. And tonight, just as suddenly as he appeared, he was invited to speak, and he did. He looked affected. I mean, it's hard not to be affected when that many things are said on such a national stage about where you are. It's hard to ignore it, and it's hard not to be affected by that. I wanted him to come tonight as a guest because he loves Dr. Angelo, and I wanted him to see the love of people for him. And so when I asked about coming, he said he'd be honored to come, and it was a blessing for us to have him here. Now, this all just wrapped up just a short time ago there on the south side. Reverend Wright did not mention the senator or the tapes that just won't go away. He simply gave the benediction, received another round of thunderous applause, and then went to an office off the pulpit where dozens of people lined up to greet him.